check out this new hairdo style called the Yamalaya. All right, welcome to another powerful and compassionate session on the artist's way. Today and tomorrow is all about this concept that Julia calls creative U-turns. And to put it simply, this is when we are joyfully jamming on a creative process and for whatever reason, we become so threatened by something that we sabotage ourselves and make a U-turn. Julia says this happens because we're more comfortable being a victim of artist's block than risking having to consistently pre be productive and healthy. Julia says, we get more sympathy as crippled artists than as functional ones. Those of us addicted to sympathy in place of creativity can become increasingly threatened as we become increasingly functional. And so just as becoming um, like free from or recovering from any major illness or injury, recovering from artist's block requires a commitment to health. Julie says we can do this by making an active choice to relinquish the privileges accorded to the emotionally invalid. Meaning if we are used to getting our needs met by being unhappy, well, it's time that we take an honest look at where that's getting us in our creative journey and if those payoffs are worth staying stuck. And a nice and gentle and effective way to explore these vulnerable, sensitive, feels are our morning pages. Let's do it. I really hope you engage with today's creative exercise because it is focused on choosing one creative U-turn that we've taken in the past and working to mend it. And I would love to hear about your experience in the comments or in our private Artist's Way activity feed. Cool, great work, creative soul. I am so grateful for you for your attention, for your earnest desire to recover more of your creative prowl, power, whatever you wanna call it. Um, yeah, thank you so much. We journey better when we journey together. So we'll take another look at an easy, actionable way to recover from a creative U-turn tomorrow. Until then, peace, love, and health.